Hello friends and welcome to the Crypto Stacker channel. My name is Dean. If you're watching my videos for the first time, please know I only make them for entertainment, education, and for community building in the crypto space. Tonight I am going to be doing a video about Terrarium. Guys, I like the project. I'm a community member. I want the project to grow. There are some big things happening this week. So whether I'm sponsored or not, I'm going to continue to try to make videos about Terrarium when I have the time to do so. Now, fortunately, <laughs> I'm back just in time to make a Terrarium Tuesday video. I went on a little vacation, went down to Puerto Rico. If you guys are from Puerto Rico, of course, say hello in the comments, but Puerto Rico's got some amazing things. I had one of the craziest experiences of my life swimming in a bioluminescent bay. It was nighttime, you're in the ocean, and when you touch the water, the water literally lights up blue with these little bioluminescent I guess they're a form of algae, but uh, look up Puerto Rico bioluminescent YouTube and it's just phenomenal. It's crazy. It's like magic. You move your hand, the water lights up. If you're still, nothing's happening. You barely move. Instantly, the water lights up. Really, really cool. But not here to talk about that. Let's talk about Terrarium and talk about what's going on here. Now, since I uh, did my show prep, Terrarium has bounced up a little bit. So we're now green in three categories. The 24-hour uh, up 1%, over seven days up 17.6%, up 34% over 14 days, still down 33% over 30 days. Now, Terrarium does have some things going on individually with adding a few more holders to the total count. But of course, we know the crypto market has been doing fairly well. And I think that may have given Terrarium a little bit of a boost too. But we know there are some things coming up this week that could be potential catalysts for Terrarium. Increased accessibility with phone apps for the centralized exchange. And hopefully at some point here in the next week or two, I'm not sure exactly when, but a release of the Terrarium centralized exchange to those of us who live in the United States to be able to check it out and start doing some trading. So we'll look at some of those things here coming up in a minute. But first, I want to jump over to the spreadsheet and just give you a quick snapshot of where Terrarium is over the last week. Today is January the 23rd. Uh, as you can see, the holder count has ticked up a little bit to 10,351, up 29 from last week. I think maybe a couple of reasons that we might see additional holders this week. For one, there's a couple potential catalysts with the apps coming out for the Terrarium Exchange. Supposed to be coming out this week on the 25th for both the App Store and for the Play Store. So Google and Apple. Now, Milton did say in a AMA, a Twitter space, that... That could be plus or minus five days because the process of actually getting the application submitted and getting the approval, they can't necessarily guarantee that it would launch on a specific day. So hopefully we'll get more feedback from the development team on that. And it would be awesome to see them launch or at least launch on one of those platforms on the day indicated. Now for me, Giving specific dates is both a blessing and a curse, right? As community members, we really want to know what the development team's up to, and we want to know when they're going to make it happen. So I think they feel compelled to give specific dates, but specific dates can be hard too on uh, investors because when a specific date comes and goes, if whatever the event that's planned for that date doesn't transpire on that date, People can get panicked a little bit, lose confidence. Sometimes you'll see some panic selling. So blessing and a curse. Just remember in the AMA, Milton did say it could happen before the 25th or it could happen a few days after the 25th as they do have to wait for those platforms to approve the apps and make them live. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens with that. The market cap has ticked up a little bit to just over 9 million. Uh, but the ranking actually went down. We were at 938, we're at 951. That just has to do with the crypto market and all the positives that are going on. So some of those uh, few little projects right in this band where we've kind of been hovering uh, must have risen more than Terrarium did. So we fell down a few notches to 951. The uh, price again, right around 9035. The volume, similar to last week, 47,000. 
The burn has ticked up to 73.99. So we're right there on the cusp of getting that final little bit burned. And so we've got about 10 trillion to go and we'll be down to 26% of the total supply remaining. So getting really close. About 5.3 trillion tokens burned in the last week. So hopefully we'll see some increased volume this week with these apps coming out and maybe that will uh, spur us to break over the line there and have burned that full 74 percent all right if we go out and look at what's going on in the community early in the week uh, or in this last seven days anyway milton dropped a tweet where he said we have completed 85 percent of our roadmap with all this drama and hate now imagine what we will accomplish with love and support Terrarium will be in the uh, top 10 exchange list for 2023. Now, that is a super bold prediction, right? To be in the top 10 exchange list would be a massive accomplishment. Is it impossible? No. Is it highly, highly probable? I don't know. It depends on what the developers are able to, um, to bring to life here, right? What other utilities they're able to bring forward what all of our impressions of the exchange are when we're able to get our hands on it. We still haven't seen the launch for the United States yet. That was kind of bundled into this could happen on the 25th, but um, you know, it wasn't really as concrete as the apps are coming out on the 25th. So it'll be interesting to see what additional information the developers can give us on that as we kind of watch their Twitter feeds here over the next couple of weeks. One thing that he is saying here has been very, very true. Right. There has been a lot of drama and a lot of hate, which as an investor, I don't really like. Right. Nobody likes it. Some of it, I think, unfortunately, they came by fairly honestly, um, where people turned on them a little bit because there were some certain expectations that were set that were not met in the time frame that they were, you know, projected to be uh, launched in. For instance, we heard November four, uh, November 1st on the centralized exchange, and that was revised to the 26th of December. They did deliver on the 26th of December. Uh, Dr. Praveen also comments in on Milton's comment, just saying that um, they've been accused of scams, being clouds, other horrible language that he can't fathom using, including open violent threats to us and our families. When I say us, I mean the devs. And he says, yes, we are disruptive and blue chip. So. The development team still positioning themselves as, uh, you know, an opportunity for a very successful exchange. If they can pull it off, those of us who are investors will certainly reap the rewards. So I'm 100% behind them. I want them to succeed. Now, for what it's worth, I don't want anybody else to fail either. I don't actually even understand this mentality, right? So there's a lot of competing projects out there. I don't really wish failure on anybody. I hope everybody in their own way can be successful, that they can deliver on the promises they're making to their investors. But personally, I've been watching these guys very closely now for almost a full year. And I really want to see them bring to life the project that they have envisioned. And as an investor, I want to see them succeed because I personally want to succeed as well. All right. Uh, moving on here, Dr. Praveen mentions that he has published a new article on Medium. It is called A Novel Entry into the Hybrid DeFi and CeFi Ecosystem. I went ahead and pulled that up and gave it a read. And, you know, Dr. Praveen always does a great job at writing. The one thing that I kind of thought was interesting here is he talks about DeFi and CeFi. Now, Right now, we're just a centralized finance project, right? We do know that Milton, a couple weeks back, ran a poll about, hey, how would you like to see us deliver a DeFi exchange within the next certain amount of time? I don't remember if it was 30 or 60 days. I think it was 60 days, 90 days. I think it's 60 days. Uh, that actually got voted down and the community said, hey, let's focus on the centralized exchange. Let's get it right. Let's get the apps launched. Let's get the US uh, centralized exchange up and running before we start delving into DeFi. But Dr. Praveen is bringing it back around here. I do really like this statement that he says 
uh, the goal of implementing the best of both worlds, DeFi and CeFi, into an ecosystem of Web3 and at the same time, this is the part I like, following geographical jurisdictional law is a highly challenging task. Now, if you were to rewind the, the tape here on crypto for the last year, maybe a year and a half, man, I can tell you, none of the crypto projects that came out were caring whatsoever about the law, right? They weren't really worried about the law. There weren't a lot of laws to discover or to govern what was going on in the crypto space. It was basically a free for all. In a lot of places, it was cash grabs. It was um, honey pots. It was rug pulls. It was horrible. But Terrarium, as I've watched them from the beginning, has set out to try to do things by the book, to try to be legal, to try to be compliant, and be ahead of what's going on so they can actually create an ecosystem that will work when all the legislation comes down to regulate crypto. So uh, I like what they're doing there. Um, you know, he goes on just to talk more about Terrarium. And as always, it's well written. He's well spoken. Um, he talks about the fact here that complex integrations have been finalized and submitted to the individual stores, such as Google Play and the Apple App Store, to provide clearances. So according to this article, which was published today on the 23rd of January, the, um, the technology has already been submitted, which I would expect that if they're planning on it launching on the 25th, it very well should have been submitted because, as Milton said, it can take several days to go through the process of getting things reviewed and getting clearance to actually be listed in those app stores. So good stuff. All right. The last thing that I want to look at, and I that would be my question for the developers if we were in an AMA, is here about, oh, four or five days ago. Let me just find it really quick. On the 10th, actually. So on the 10th of January, there was a poll about Luna Classic and uh, Doge, which one should be the next um, asset to be listed on the centralized exchange. Luna Classic won pretty handily. And so far, I'm not seeing it. Now, granted, I don't know without logging in if I actually have full access. What I've been doing to kind of see what's listed on the Terrarium Exchange is just going into that getting started and looking down the list, right? And so SHIB is certainly there. This was the last community voted on asset, but I don't see Luna Classic in the lineup yet. And we are talking about 13 days since that happened. Now, maybe they've been distracted by other things. They're working on the apps. I don't really know, but uh, I wonder if those of you who are using the exchange, Dubai and India, if you have access to Luna Classic, if it has actually been added to the list and it's just not populating here for those of us who can't create an account yet. Let me know down in the comments. If not, that'd be my question for the development team. What happened to Luna Classic? When can we expect to see that? And what other assets do you see coming listed to the uh, Terrarium Exchange soon? All right, friends. I hope you're having an amazing day. Thanks for checking in with me. I didn't do this last week. I totally forgot about it, but let me give you a quick look at my uh, reflections. So for the last two weeks, I basically got one point, almost 1 1.2 uh, billion coins in reflections, currently sitting at 13 trillion, 290 billion, 708 million. That brings my total since February 21st when I started tracking to 52,752,000,000. million. At current prices, worth about $18, those reflections. So I would love to see that much, much higher than that. And of course, that would be reflected in my overall balance as well. So patience right now and faith and hope, I guess. Uh, you know, any good vibes you want to put out to the universe or prayer, you know, I would love to see this development team succeed. For one, I think the project is a worthy project. And secondly, I'm an investor. Quite frankly, I would love to have this investment pan out to be something that is highly beneficial to myself and my family in the future. Friends, I hope you're having a, an amazing day. Thank you so much for checking in with me. Check back with me soon. We'll watch our crypto stacks grow together.